The day Wolfie was born, I held it in my hand and I said, Welcome, welcome to this world. I am your daddy. I was only joking then. You see, I wasn't really a dog person. You know, I've had dogs all my life, but they were just dogs to me. And then Wolfie was born, and it changed everything, my whole life. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to say it so you can understand, but there was this, this deep connection as if we'd known each other for a thousand years. I'd wake up in the middle of the night, and she'd just be inches from my face watching me sleep. She brought so much happiness to me that I began to think carefully about the future. And I realize that the future will come very quickly. In 10 years, she'll be gone. And so I set out to clone her, but I didn't have any money. I was poor, driving a taxi, working as a cable guy. And then I came up with a 10 year plan, 10 years to start a business, 10 years to make a gazillion dollars, 10 years. It was a mission I set for myself, a mission that I had to succeed. I cannot fail in this mission. And so I started a business. I named it after Wolfie. I named it Wolfcom Enterprises after my beautiful little girl. Our products, our company logo, our website is all her. There are products out there with her logo on it. It's on our packaging, on our business cards, it's on our stationery. It's everywhere. I created from her uh, multiple sites such as uh, AsianWolf.com, Wolfcom Innovations. I opened a, a spy shop and a paintball store uh, with her logo right in the middle, in the center. And just recently I've started a dog cloning website in her honor. Wolfie grew older as my business grew. Employees came and went. I traveled, and when I did, I took Wolfie with me. And we took vacations. We, we had a rule. Everywhere Wolfie goes, Daddy goes. Everywhere Daddy goes, Wolfie goes. That's the law. And every year that passed, I knew it was one year closer to her death. And I counted the years. She was five years old, then six, then ten years old and then 11 and 12, and I watched as her hair turned slowly from black to gray. And every year, we'd have this birthday party for her, and I'd be happy, but I'd be sad knowing that we're one year closer to her death. I did everything I could. I took good care of her, I took her baths, I fed her as best as I can. All I wanted to do was give her a happy life, and that was my goal. But I had a far even greater goal, and that was, I had to make money. I had to work hard and save to pay for the cloning. And then the time came, Wolfie began to deteriorate. She'd been a loose weight. She became partially paralyzed. It was terrible watching her just disintegrate. And I did the best that I could. I, I'd even smash her food up into a liquid and and use a syringe to feed her. But then, after a while, she couldn't smell, she couldn't see, she couldn't hear anymore, and she couldn't swallow. And she lost weight very quickly. On February 24th, 2009, it was her 15th birthday, and we closed up the shop, and all the employees and friends and family, we went to the park and we had a barbecue and a birthday party for Wolfie. It was her 15th, 15th birthday party, her 15th birthday. And the next day, she died in my arms. And in that moment, everything I had in this world was gone. But luckily I prepared, I saved Wolfie's cells, and I had the money to pay for the cloning. And almost three years later, my journey took me to the other side of the world, to Korea, where I was going to watch my Wufi reborn again. 
When you lose someone or something that you love, that sadness follows you everywhere you go, no matter what. And that sadness followed me all the way to Soam, where I was greeted by a playpen full of clone dogs in front of Soam headquarters. It's here that the story of Wolfie and me doesn't end, nor does it begin. It continues. My past, my present, and my future is here waiting to be reborn. At Soam, I got to meet Professor Huang, the father of dog cloning. He cloned the world's first dog, Snuppy. We had a moment to sit in his office, and uh, I took out photos of Wolfie and her sister Bubble. And we sat there together, and as he looked over photos with me, he gave me a big surprise, and he decided that he was going to give Bubble to me for free. And that was an amazing feeling. Now, I would have two clones, one of Wolfie and one of her sister Bubble, and they can grow up together again. All of my hopes and all of my dreams, I did it in 10 years. <laughs>